it's a breath. It's a breath and depth of experience that some, you know, honestly, some of my colleagues do not possess. And of course, that's because I'm older. I spent 30 years coaching kids in this area, and uh, I'm very interested in our youth, the unfortunate problems we have with drug and alcohol. I used to do the emergency rooms for mental health. Obviously, I was in charge as the administrative judge for the treatment course, which is both mental health and drug and alcohol, because I do have a background in it. I always look at this as a team and perhaps that's because of my own background in sports and coaching. Everyone has a role in this. I was born in the 40s. I grew up in the 50s and 60s, and society was different. If you look at a general overview, you would say we had family, we had work, and we had community. We didn't have the rate of homicides that we do today, and it was a different world. And of course, part of that, and again, this is just my opinion, is the breakdown in our social institutions. I enjoy trying cases, I enjoy the jurors, and I, it's a tremendous learning experience, it really is. I have a very, very good team around me. And if I did anything well in this job, it was picking that team. My goals are always the same, to handle the case, and, and when I do that, I want to be fair and impartial. If you're going to restore confidence in this community, you need to have judges who are fair and impartial.